everyone and welcome it's time to create today we are going to be creating on a black piece of craft plastic it's 12 by 12 it's on a piece of plexi on my lazy susan we just need a very very slick kind of surface to work on today as we're going to be working with a lot of water and our acrylic paint this is a little bit different here we're going to be doing a wet and wild waterfall and i'm going to begin by spraying my plastic with water liberally you can use pour paint for this or you can use acrylic paint for this i use soft bristle brushes in general in different sizes and i'm just going to lay out an outline of my waterfall and how it's going to curve around this is pressure blue. Prussian blue is a very dark blue. It may be kind of hard to see on the black, but I'm just getting this outline down so I can see where I want to put my waterfall. But this is going to be my base color for my waterfall today. I'm going to be switching to a larger brush and it has coarser bristles. It works really well for water. And I want you to notice how fluid the paint is as I work on the foreground using my Prussian blue. It is very watery and it will need to stay very wet until the very end of the painting. You can notice that the paint sort of pulls away from the plastic, but in reality, this is kind of like working with watercolor and watercolor paper, but the paper is not absorbent. So it is going to stay wet and I'm going to be using downward strokes on my waterfall as I layer my paint. So this will be a series of layers, but at no point can it dry because if it dries, the paint can often peel, especially if it's too thick. I'm adding my first color. It is violet. I keep my paints over to the side so that I can dab my color in. And you can't really see a big difference on the black background, but the black background is so important because it is your color. Just like white would be a color for watercolor paper, that's your background for your white in general. I am going to be using the black as, this, as a color in my painting. So this is rouge and it is also a PBO iridescent violet blue mixed together. I am going to be layering this as I go along with each of my colors. So first will be more of a pink, and then I'm gonna move on to my violet or purple color. And as I do this, I am going to be mixing my colors. I'm going to be overlapping each color as I go through, and that way I have more of a seamless blend. But you will mostly see my paintbrush moving constantly as I do this, just to make sure my paint doesn't dry out. Now I'm adding my violet, which is just on the purple spectrum, and blending it in. And as you can see, it's sort of hard to see right now, but as I build the layers, you will see it more. Each time I've added a paint color, I take an opportunity to put a little bit of that color into the foreground water. It just adds to the reflection from the waterfall, and it's part of the building of the paint. It really doesn't matter how you put that on. I just dab a little bit in there so I have that color. And then I'm moving on to my next color, which is ultramarine blue. And I put that right beside of my violet in a downward swoop to the side. And I'm going to move on to the next color. That one was pretty easy. I'm moving on to turquoise. Now you really see the water look with the turquoise. It's so much lighter and it contrasts so well with the black. And I'm just going to blend that into my grass green. A little bit of green on the side. There we go. Needing to work fast here, I am moving on to some Viridian, which is sort of a greenish blue. It's not turquoise. It actually hits more on the green spectrum. And that gives that illusion of more spray and water. I'm just going to blend that into a lot of my colors now. That's a wonderful color Viridian. This is a Master's Touch paint, but it's one of my favorite Master's Touch paints, so I continue to use it. And we get that look of water. Don't worry, we are going to clean this up. It's just about getting the, the right look before we do so. Just going right back over it, and there we go. A nice blend of my colors. I am using a dirty brush here. I keep a lot of dirty brushes. I do wipe it off occasionally. But I'm gonna go ahead and add to my water right along the base of where the water is falling. And I'm also going to add it into my foreground water for some reflection, just dabbing it on. 
really simple to do and you can see how my paint sort of disappears as I go that's why I have to layer it it'll move itself around because this is a plastic paper kind of like Yupo paper if you were used to working with your alcohol inks then you might be a little bit more familiar it doesn't bleed as much but it is similar going to go ahead and straighten out my falls just a little bit on the top blending it in getting that swoosh of the water okay and I'm just adding more back into the foreground again I don't want so much black down here but since the paint moves so much you kind of have to adjust it as such now I like to use a balloon you may have seen many of my balloon paintings this is a mini balloon it's really really small it's a water balloon that has shrunk even more but it does really well to blend the water or to blend the colors I could have done the whole waterfall with this mini balloon but I like the brush strokes it gives that illusion of water now I'm using pearl paint this is from Amsterdam and this is pearl red it makes a really good accent or highlight color over the false and I want this to kind of be very vibrant and shiny so that is why I'm using it now it's time for a little bit of pearl violet over the purple you're getting the gist here that it's going to be a pearl color over the other colors that I have put down so pearl red pearl violet pearl blue and pearl green I'm just dabbing a little bit around the bottom of the false so it has the highlight and the reflection coming off of the false and then I'm just going to be dabbing a little bit of that color again in the foreground so it's swoop swoop swipe and then dab 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 into the foreground and I am now using a balloon now I used a balloon to actually blend before but now you can actually do sort of that swirly wave action as you can see here it looks like the water is moving remember to use things like your balloon I try to find all kinds of creative things to make textures on my paintings when I'm using the plastic or I'm using board and also fun applicators this applicator you may have seen another one of my paintings is a silicone makeup brush but it does great to add highlights as you can see here into the water this is sky blue and we're just going to highlight that lighter color and give it that illusion of water now the thing about the silicone brush is it does take paint off so if it exposes too much black then you have to go back with your balloon or your brush and smooth it back again if you don't have a makeup brush or a balloon you can just tap 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 in the highlights with the edge of a brush so that's what I'm doing right here and this is just a dirty brush that has a little bit of the sky blue on it I do believe and it works great and or you can just slide it along with the makeup brush you're seeing lots of techniques of using brushes and silicone and balloons but it's really fun to try different things to add texture to your paintings just adding a little bit more of my pearlized paint with a dirty brush because I like the blend of it whether it's the pearl violet or the pearl blue or the pearl green I'm just layering my paints back and uh, you can see here that's the pearl blue that I'm just blending in and then I'll add uh, a little bit of the pearl back down here okay there we go I think we're about good here in the foreground for now and now I'm just going to clean off up at the top as I'm going to add some sky in and for the sky I'm actually going to be using pearl yellow and maybe a little bit of pearl green because I've already got the black here it's a very dark sky I'm just going to be highlighting it with the color of light which is my pearl yellow and there we go just brushing that onto a wet plastic is going to give me a nice light ethereal look so as you can see this is a pretty quick process a little bit of my uh, pearl blue and pearl green here both of those just to add a nice little contrast and I'm just dabbing a little bit with my balloon again as you can see my paint moves and then I have to go and work with it a little bit more and I'm I'm never satisfied so I will go back and uh, overwork the paint but as you can see it's starting to dry and as it dries it starts to get sticky 
a few more highlights here with my pearl colors just to add that nice movement and spray of the water and yeah a little bit more here I'm just gonna add a little bit more of the pearl yellow that I used in the sky onto the pearl green it's just going to give it that nice glow because my paint is really getting very very dry I'm adding a little bit of my Prussian blue back in to separate my water and make it look a little bit more like spray because I was a little bit heavy-handed with my pearl paints but that's okay and then I will add just a little bit of highlights with my pearl white color uh, right above the water and in the sky. Just a little bit of the pearl white right here. Got to have a little bit of glow. And it's kind of hard to see. I've actually got a lot of reflection, so I'll show you in the end how much color you actually get. Just put in a few little clouds up here. A little bit of reflection of lights into the sky and a little bit of the pearl white in the water gotta have a little bit just to have a nice contrast with all of this black and my water is pretty much dry a little bit of spray and uh, I think we're going to kind of call it if I will just put my brush down and here we are this is what we end up with there's really no wet paint left. It's almost completely dry. And it turned out very well. Lots of layers, but lots of colors on the black craft paper. Let me know what you think in the comments below. And hit like and subscribe if you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching. Bye now.